Hello, you're watching Telecom TV. I'm Guy Daniels, Director of Content. And as part of our Open RAN Summit, I am pleased to say that joining me on the programme today is Morten Lerner, who is Head of Cloud RAN at Ericsson. Welcome, Morten. Good to see you. Now, Ericsson has in the past been criticised for its apparent reluctance to adopt the Open RAN specifications. How do you respond to that? Uh, first, uh, thank you for having me. Great to be here. So let me put that question into perspective a little bit. So the reason why you and I and everyone that is listening can travel across the globe using the same phone and leveraging the same services across the globe is really been done on the foundation of a very successful collaboration between operators and vendors of setting a truly open standard that is a bit unique to the globe, leveraging open interfaces across. And this has really been the foundation of how we built the network as of today and the foundation of building out the 5G networks that we today use in our daily life. As we then look forward, we do see that the networks needs to be increasingly resilient, open, sustainable and intelligent. And this is really where we see Uron and Openron Alliance coming into play. Uh, it's a very important standardization forum for us and it's a standardization forum that we are going all in on, which by you see us as a leader, not only in 3DPP, but also in the specification of Oron Alliance as we progress. And we do this because we believe that the operators want to have the choice of how they build the networks in the future. And we want to be able to deliver that choice to them with a high performance across the total system. So we don't want to have any, any different performance across the different options that the vendors can select from. So that's why it's been a very important aspect for us to come into Oron Alliance and really drive that forward. And while we may not be the first one to go in and adapt these solutions, we really make it sure that we do it right, because that is what we believe that our customers in the end want to see happening. And as we do this right, we believe that Oron and Oron Alliance standardizations and specifications can become a true win-win situation because we believe that for Oron to happen at scale, they need the incumbent players such as Ericsson and we need the new ecosystem to drive in further innovation, automation and capabilities into those network. So done right, we really think that this can be a win-win situation for the full industry, both the ecosystem, ourselves, and our customers. Well, thank you for being very clear about that, Morton. So if we now look ahead, how does Ericsson intend to help evolve Open RAN to deployments that will scale globally? Right, and I would say that we are in a very exciting time right now when it comes to Open RAN. And we are at this point in time starting our deployments of the first sprint in this journey. And we see that our cloud run solution is now coming out to the first deployment across the globe on the market. So that is a super exciting uh, time for us. Uh, we have in the initial sprint focused predominantly on the virtualization aspect of cloud run. So we've done this focusing in four different domains. Number one is really to make sure that there is a capable hardware that can run run workloads. So RON workloads is a bit unique in its sense, they're extremely compute intense. So we have worked across the ecosystem to mature the hardware platform so they are capable to an efficient way drive a RON workload. The second aspect that we've been focusing on in this initial sprint has been to make sure that the cloud platforms also can handle a RON workload. Uh, we have of course seen cloud platforms coming from the IT domain over to the core domain, but taking that step also into the RON domain requires uh, both optimizations in terms of footprint as well as new functionality to handle synchronization and other aspects. So that has been number two, a very important aspect that we work together with our partners on. Number three has really been a journey within Ericsson. So we have taken the deliberate decisions of rewriting the software stack for this completely. So we wanted to do a cloud native design from day one. We did not want to take anything that we had on the shelf and just packaging it because we don't think that's the way to deliver true cloud values. So we have really established a cloud native software architecture that we're building on this for uh, the future. 
And number four is really to make sure that this is a solution that can be deployed into the network. And we really see that our operator that sits with investments on the purpose-built portfolio, so they integrated what we've done before, want to continue to leverage that and at the same time slot in the cloud run functionality. And therefore, an interlink between these two solutions has been established to make sure that you can run it seamlessly together in an efficient way. And we think that is critical for making this a mass scale solution. So the hurdle of actually going into a cloud run deployment doesn't become so big. So that has really been the foundation of how we wanted to see scale of that solution. Then of course, Cloud Run is really about ecosystem. We're not doing this solution entirely ourselves. We'd rely on our partners and our ecosystem to drive this forward. And we've really been front running that ecosystem uh, together with the partners that we're working with. And we are very pleased that it is this week we announced the first call on the new Intel platform called Intel Scion Generation 4 processors with integrated VRON Boost, which is a real stepper stone for making sure that we can run RON workloads in an efficient manner. And this was done together with our server partner, HPE. So that is a really important part now to make sure that we are ready to start scaling these solutions globally. That's a great overview of the whole system, the whole solution. Um, but I, I want to talk now about a particular part of the ORAN specification, the open lower layer split. Now, it's a little complicated and it's caused quite a lot of discussion within the industry. So what is it? Why is it important? And what is Ericsson's position here? That is a great question. And I would say the last year or so, that's probably the most debated question regarding openness. I think it's important to remember that Open RON and Cloud RON entail so much more than just the lower layer split, but it is no doubt a very important part of Open. And lower layer split is really the interface between the digital unit and the radio unit. So you can say between the computer that runs the application and the radio that sends the signals out to the antennas. And normally we have done this, uh, if you look at the proprietary solutions, by leveraging an internal interface that we have developed internally in Ericsson. Now we see the progression towards an open interface that is actually standardized then in Oron Alliance to leverage this interface between the digital unit and the radio unit. For us, this interface is one of the most important aspects that we have in the portfolio. Uh, it uses less all our portfolio leveraging these interfaces across. So what we wanted to make sure is that we don't build another interface on the side just to bring in the openness aspect. That we could have done, but that would have become a parallel track for our development, which we did not want to go into. We wanted to look at this as a way to replace what we have done internally with a new, better open interface. And this is really the journey that we set ourselves out to. So in September 21, uh, we for the first time introduced a new work item into what is called Workgroup 4 within Neuron Alliance. That is the constellation that is working on the lower layer split. And we do see now great progression into that work. And we're coming into the closing point of finalizing the specification of the next generation open layer split that can not only be open, but can also deliver full performance while being open. And that is so important for us because that means that we can actually use that as our main interface in the Ericsson development. And that is really our intention now. As the standardizations then mature, we are starting up development of this interface that is being standardized. Uh, we will front run that on the Cloud Run solution, but we want to use it across the entire Ericsson portfolio. So we also intended to bring it back into what we call the integrated solution, which was what we have today and use the same interface across both integrated and cloud run so you can interconnect the radios and leverage the full R&D capabilities. We think that this is the way that we can deliver full performance to the operators uh, while keeping an open interface to deliver that. So that has really been the path of success and I'm very pleased to see that Workgroup 4 is doing a good job of actually doing this work now, specifying this interface. So we are really excited about that. I think it will be a stepping stone for the industry and we are now ready to pave the way into open RON uh, scaling globally. Great. Well, we must leave it there, Morten. Thank you very much indeed for joining us today and outlining Ericsson's position on Open RAN. Thank you. Thank you, Gim. Thank you for having me.